Hi, right, Lloyd Macedo speaking from LloydMacedo.com and who's Lloyd Macedo? Today I just want to share with you my opinion on what do I think about bodybuilding. Uh, given the fact that I've done, I've committed almost 20 years to bodybuilding. Now, bodybuilding is uh, really an exciting sport. Um, the reason being is it, it is a sport where if you put uh, even, um, let's say, 50 or 60% of effort uh, you need not go 100% all the way, you will see progress. And that is one of the reasons why bodybuilding is so popular because you put even 50%, you can see progress. And it is more of a showmanship. It is more of a sport to show off. You show, you show off your muscles, you flaunt them, you feel good about it. And yes, the aspect of physical fitness and looking good. Uh, however, um, as you, uh, you know, move into years of bodybuilding, most of the people uh, do that because it makes you it makes you get better, makes you get stronger, makes you get more powerful, makes you look uh, really good, and uh, gets you a lot of respect. And uh, given the fact that you know it releases a lot of uh, testosterone and endorphins and uh, adrenaline when you're uh, doing the exercise, people love to do it. Uh, but when you're talking of years of doing bodybuilding, there's a lot of wear and tear on the joints this, because you're, you're packing on more mass. So your body has to adjust and uh, support all that mass. And then the joints, um, uh, they, they, it's like a hinge of a door. You know, you keep opening, keep closing, keep opening, keep closing. Then uh, eventually the, the joints get creaky and they get old and there's a wear and tear because it's just white cartilage. So, um, the like any other sport there is a shelf life and then you start moving into a deterioration and you obviously cannot handle the weights that you used to and that is where people start moving into supplements and from supplements they start moving into steroids uh, 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 dr uh, drugs related to sports performance now they are not like uh, cocaine or uh, um, you know the pleasure kind of drugs they, they are more of um, they make you stronger so it's I, I don't endorse people, uh, uh, you know, just, um, you know, selling them openly and commercially because you get a lot of youngsters who don't understand the implications. Uh, there are a lot of side effects, serious side effects you need to consider. But if you're using it personally for your own personal use, just to uh, be dedicated in the gym, just to feel good, just to be healthy, then go ahead. Uh, I'm no one to say anything. Uh, but what I feel is uh, bodybuilding in the long term, especially as you're getting older uh, for men, I think um, it has more of drawbacks because you will look strong, you will feel strong, you will feel that you're looking good. But if you don't match that with smart uh, lifestyle of eating really healthy food and uh, you're not intelligent enough, you'll be carrying on, on all this mass, but then uh, you'll not be able to support your own body weight. That is why if you, you ask any bodybuilder to run, let's say, uh, 21 kilometers, uh, let's say a half marathon or keeping fit, he'd not be able to support his heart and his lungs, cannot support the entire body mass. That's the same thing which I experienced and that is why I quit bodybuilding. Um, but having said that, I, I say that body, uh, doing some exercise is at least better than no exercise. Uh, bodybuilding does have its perks and benefits, that is being strong, feeling strong, feeling good, um, seeing the improvement every single day, so it kind of makes you committed. But it's more of a show-off sport. It's more of a bragging sport. It's more of you flaunt your muscles, you look good, which I've done. Okay, and there are many bodybuilders who do that. You know, go to the gym and then walk around feeling powerful. It like gives you a testosterone release, adrenaline, re uh, adrenaline release. Uh, your endorphins are just released into your system and you feel great about it. So you really look forward to, you know, keeping fit rather than having a dormant lifestyle. So in that way, it is good. However, when you're talking of a certain point where uh, there's too much of mass, you're eating too much to maintain that too much of mass, uh, I think um, it's, it starts backfiring. So uh, this is what I feel. And uh, given a choice, I would say some exercise is better than no exercise. But if you honestly ask me, I wouldn't say bodybuilding is at the top of my list in terms of the best exercises to. If you ask me the best exercise, I would say yoga is number one. Swimming is number two. Um, core exercise and physical fitness like stretching and simple ground exercise is number three and then from there it just progresses and develops. So live from livemacedo.com and it was livemacedo.com giving you his views on uh, what he thinks about bodybuilding. Uh, let me know what do you think. Love to hear from you. Goodbye for now.